Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 103 of Let's Platinum Neo 2 Remastered. Let's head to the interim right now. So all we have to do here is talk to Azai Nagamasa, and, but before we do, let's get Karaka's and Katsui's little bit of, uh, of a dialogue and speech here. Okay, that was worth it. <laughs> and Katsui. Awesome. So we completed their missions and they were able to move on from the afterlife, which is cool, from the interim. Alright, let's talk to Azai Nagamasa. Alright, a new mission has been added. Let's speak to him one more time. Okay, he says the same thing. Alright, that's it. We don't really need to talk to anyone else. I don't think Kanbe says anything different. Eh, may as well check. Pretty sure he doesn't. Yep. Oh, he even says, yeah, speak to them and perhaps they'll be able to leave this place. I wonder if you can do that for the, the little yokai, the kappa yokai, and for Hisahide. Interesting. Alright, so we did that, and now we can move on to the next part. We've unlocked Yaksha Returns. Before we do this, I'm just going to have a quick peek. I should have done this off screen, but... Okay, this one... That seems to be... Let me show, see this one again. Hang on, where is it? This one. This one actually seems to be a little bit quicker. Plus Cyclone. Oh, that's that's got to be... Okay, yeah, that's happening. <laughs> Let's get this. Uh, I think I'm actually going to use Merciful Retribution instead of Focus Retribution. Cyclone. Follow up a quick attack with a series of slashes while spinning. It's high and mid stance. Interesting. Moral Retribution, Mind's Eye. Hmm, interesting. And then after Cyclone, press Triangle at the right time to form an additional attack. If this attack fully depletes enemy's key, you'll follow it with another powerful blow. Alright, let's try that. But I have to... Do I want that with... You know what? I want that with High Stance more than the other one, Cyclone. I'll keep um, Mind's Edge on the low one, because the High Stance one is okay, like the Mortal Retribution, but it's so slow. It does decent damage, but I kind of like the idea of... thing. I'm not really uh, doing the... the skill customization too much, but that's okay. Alright, let's do Yaksha Returns. I am finally free of all the anguish and frustration of my past, and all my anxiety for those I have left behind. I had long forgotten the pride that defines us samurai. Please, I pray, grant me a final fight. Yes, let's do it. Oh, I just realized I have shuriken. This could actually go quite well. Okay, so it's this guy again. Fortunately, he is weak to lightning, which is very lucky for us because we're using a lightning switch glaive. So yeah, I actually quite like fighting him. When he blocks with his wing, you want to like charge forward or bounce back, but not too much more. Try and avoid his attacks as much as you can, like that, because it reduces his key quite a lot. What happened there? Let me heal up. Let me try this move, hang on. Not that move, this one. Oh, wrong. Oh, that's cool. Come on. Okay, good. Let's hit him with maybe a Yoki. Reduce that key quite a bit. Okay, so for this, you want to get away. Hit him with a Brute Counter. Oh no. Uh, I can do it. Ah, he almost killed me. Nice. Okay. 
need to heal again. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, <laughs> I got too greedy. He was, did I have, no I didn't, I didn't. I was thinking, did I have the shock accumulation on him at that point? No, I didn't because he, he transformed or he went into the dark, dark realm, which dispels that. Let's try it again. One, two, three. It's actually probably better to have Caltrops here. I did use it during practice and it worked out quite, quite well. Dodging his moves is probably... Oh! He's a lot better. I still didn't get him shocked. Ugh. Damn. Can I please apply some shock on you? Good sir. Okay, there we go. And maybe one of these. <laughs> I did try and throw the shuriken at him just to see what would happen. So I don't, I don't know if it actually hit him or not. Hmm. Sometimes you get into the right position and all your moves just, like, go through and hit really well. And other times you get into the wrong position and everything misses. Or vice versa, he hits a lot more. Come on. Oh, that was cool. Uh, another Yoki, please. Did I knock him out? Yay! And he's almost done. Actually, that Cyclone move that I got is good for applying the debuff, now that I think about it. Always take this. Okay, we did it. Nice. And I got another tea utensil. Fantastic. I wonder how many I've got because I actually really need 50 for a trophy. Alright, we did it. Another mission down. Yeah, today there's like a lot that we can do. <laughs> because uh, all the missions are pretty quick. Oh, well, actually, it's we've only done this one. But then we have another one. That was truly something. I thank you. Now I have shed my last lingering attachment. You are clearly the kind of samurai who can realize the dream of my now departed brother-in-law and open the path to a brave new world. Now, I believe this is where we part ways. I will not be able to witness it, but please do what you must do, and fulfill your destiny. Nice. Alright, and I will put another point, I'm actually going to put a point in strength this time for an upcoming Guardian Spirit. And I think we're good, oh you know what, let me quickly appraise. Kamuro and Set Seto Maratsubo, nice. And I can also check how many I've appraised, if you go to status. No, not status. Titles, gameplay record, and I think it's under other or something like that, or maybe actions? No? Where is it? Here. T, tensor appraisals, conducted 40 and he smashed 9. Wow, so if I if he had smashed none, I would be one away. Do I have any? No, okay. I got another point. Let's put it in um, Divine Retribution, which will ask us if we want to get rid of, I think it's Empty Retribution. I don't use this ability, but I don't want to get rid of it because I actually should be using it. I'm only not using it because I'm not completely adept with this yet. We are almost there in terms of the Switch Glaive. All right, let us do... Now, there's a very special thing about this mission. We can only do this once. Once you've done it once, it will, um, it will disappear. So here we go. It looks like the time is up for that man with the staff. I'll accompany you to Byoto Inn. I want to be there to witness his end with my own eyes. Sealed fate. Byodo Inn, the place where ancient evil slumbers. Head back into in its innermost recesses. The fated moment to face the seal has come.
what is written. It's William! Yay! The deed is done. You have fulfilled your destiny. Your vision blurs as all strength drains from your body. You cannot move so much as a muscle. As your consciousness fades, you hear Mumio's voice calling out to you. Oh, okay, so that's what it was. Wait, that's weird. Huh. Now I'm confused. Okay, I th it, this must be it. Okay. Let's, uh, yeah, let's move on to this one as well. The Blue-Eyed Samurai. Uh, against all the odds, your heavy eyelids start to open. You feel a sensation as though a malicious spirit is worming its way into your body. It seems that someone has broken Otakemaru's seal. You feel a pounding in your chest. It appears the time for you to wake from your long slumber has arrived. <laughs> yes! Awesome! We get to fight William. This is so cool. Alright, William is pretty tough. I mean, as he would be. Protagonist of the original game. Um, now, what am I going to do here? Spoilers, you do not have to win this fight. You just have to play until... Oh, that was perfect. You have to play until the game says, okay, you're done. I wonder what pressing triangle with the right timing for that is. Ah, bro, come on, that was it. Oh crap, okay. Hmm. Oh, I was trying to do that other move. No! <laughs> Hang on. Can I get a replay on that? What move was he doing that was. He must have been using a different weapon. Uh, let's see. I think he has access to almost all the weapons. I'll put this on anyway, because I don't know if it drops anything. I think it does, but anyway. Let me try that again, because holy crap, man. Okay, I get that's flowing shadow. There we go. That was epic. I felt that. felt that one in my bones. <laughs> I don't know what the hell happened before, though. What, what, was, what move was he doing? There's another thing I haven't pointed out that, uh, I don't know if it's the case. It does feel like it is, but, I don't know, maybe I'm just being silly. This looks like the move that, uh, Nobunaga was doing. I feel like there's something in this game where it's like, if you haven't done... Nice. If you haven't attacked the enemy for a while, or it, it's, it's one of those, um, it's that thing that they use in Street Fighter. Where it's like, if you do a massive combo, or many fighting games, if you do like a really long combo, the uh, damage will start to lower, and I think that's happen that happens here too. the raging seas to reach this land. An English-speaking ninja. A warrior without a past. Then I met a Tanuki. We 
the weight of the world on his shoulders. In the heat of battle, I learned the true meaning of struggle. With the defeat of the Spaniard today, finally the war is at an end. I stand ready to battle demons. I stand as a samurai. I leave the two of you to it. God damn, that was the best cutscene in the game. Holy cow. That was incredible. What a phenomenal cutscene. They absolutely knocked it out of the park. The the uh the music in the background, oh man, that was good. Alright, let's speak to Mumio. Honto Okay, so if I understand correctly, the protagonist used the Sohaya blade on that on that um that cut off like horn, then doing so caused him to fall asleep and be taken over by the man with the hat. And after many years, William turned up, found him, for some reason he woke up, fought him, defeated the Defeated him, it released the man with a hat, and now we're continuing. I think that's basically a summary of what's happened so far. <laughs> He's got the gesture, that's not good. While you have been sleeping, I have been busy hunting yokai, but there's no end in sight. To stem the tide, we must cut them off at the source. I don't know what caused you to awaken from your slumber, but I have a feeling it has something to do with whatever brought that foreign man, William, to this place. Well, shall we get going? Mm-hmm. できて何よりだけど喜ぶのは後回しね。陶器素郎が倒れて平和になるどころか起こったのは大きな戦ばっかり。関ヶ原や大阪の陣。それに勝った徳川が今や世を治めてる。その徳川に力を貸したってのがあ
Shirahebi Shrine, Hebi is snake actually, uh, is a great white serpent and Shira, Shiro, Shiro is white. So maybe that's what it means, like white snake shrine. Um, and it's cast off skin is, is kept as a sacred object in the cave at the heart of the shrine. While it was once a gentle deity that protected the mountains and swamps, Saito Yoshitatsu's use of spirit stones transformed it into a raging being known as an Aratama. It spews corruption from its body, creating poisonous swamps wherever its vile fluids land. Those who aim to defeat it must be prepared with measures to counter its noxious poison. Kamaitachi. Kasha. I know I haven't read this in so long, it's just been so difficult to find the time. Um, Shuten Doji is considered one of Japan's three greatest yokai, alongside Tamamo no Mai and Otakemaru. These three yokai are given particular recognition for being the only three yokai whose remains are supposedly preserved in Vyoto Inn, Uji. A long time ago, Shuten Doji lived in Mount Oe, Tamba province, and would occasionally attack the capital accompanied by his demon underlings. Under orders from the Emperor, Minamoto no Yorimitsu and their four retainers known as the Four Guardians were sent to vanquish him. They succeeded in weakening him with poisonous sake granted to them by the gods, which allowed them to kill him. This led to Yorimitsu's sword to thereafter be called Dojikiri or the Doji Cutter. Lady Osakabe is a yokai that has possessed an entire castle, lending the building her life force. Records of this yokai existed in a collection of ghost stories published in the Edo period. In this anthology, the yokai possessed Himeji Castle, causing all sorts of strange incidents before finally making the castle owner ill. When a monk was summoned to exorcise the, the yokai, it materialized in front of him in the form of a mysterious woman, ordering him to leave. Angered by the monk's refusal, the yokai transformed into a giant monstrosity and killed him. And... Did we do it? Yay! Okay, we got through at least all those. We have so many more to go, but I don't know. I, I don't think I ended up reading everything on um, in the previous game, so I don't know if that'll happen this time. I will go back actually quickly to Dream and we'll leave it here because I want to collect all the, the different things that I can collect here. One, two, three, four, and it was somewhere here. This last one was really hard to find. There we go, five. <laughs> Alright, cool. So I'll do that next time. For now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 103 of Let's Platinum Neo 2 Remastered. My name is Ultima456. You're the Ultimates. And I'll see you next time.